Today we're going to continue with the feet doing foot yoga. Uh, as I mentioned on Tuesday, or the part one of the foot mini lesson for uh, yoga, yoga mini foot lesson, is we have 26 bones in our feet and in a lifetime an average person walks 150 to 200,000 miles, which is I think seven to eight times around the world. So your feet get a lot of pounding. So we're going to give them some loving today and we're going to start out sitting on the floor. Now for props, we I have a folded blanket, okay, or rolled up blanket, two blocks and a belt. We're going to start with the belt. So I'll give you a moment to go get blocks, belt or strap, and a towel. You can have a towel if you don't have one now, okay? And then we'll begin. For those of us who already have our props, let's just wiggle our toes. Okay, we'll start with some um, full range of motion for the feet. So I'm just taking my blanket now and folding it to raise my hips. We'll roll it back into a roll later, <clears throat> but uh, this makes it easier to get a nice right angle between the torso and the legs. So let's just start by wiggling the toes, okay? And toes are upright, and then point the toes, inhale, Exhale, flex, push the heel out. So inhale, point, we're gonna do it five times. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Okay, so next we're gonna do pronation. Okay, that's as if uh, the big toe side of your foot is moving away from your head and supination. The big toe side of your foot is moving towards your head. So we'll do that five times. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So on the exhale, you're trying to put the soles of your feet together. On the inhale, you're making the soles of your feet look right and left. So inhale, We're going to reach under our right knee and make circles with the right foot. Okay, maybe five big circles and then five big circles the other way. You'll feel you'll feel that you're working your ankle. And then we're going to just reach down and grab that ankle and shake your foot. Shake it. Now, if I was teaching a class, we would go through and move each toe, but this is a mini lesson and we're not going to do that, but on your own, you could move each toe back and forth and pull it apart, widen it, and run the joints through the range of motion, okay? But in the mini lesson, we're not going to spend the time on each toe. So then reach under your left knee, pull up your left leg, and let's make five big circles with the left foot. Okay. And then five big circles the opposite direction. And then you're going to grab the ankle and shake. So let, let loose, let the foot be loose. And next, let's sit in this Dandasana stick pose, okay? And imagine that the skin on your feet, your toes are moving up, and from here down the skin, from below the toes to the heel, the skin is moving down, okay? So toes, skin moving up, the soles of the feet, toes moving up, and the skin on the uh, rest of the foot from here down, 
sliding down. So dividing the foot in half, not equally. And then we're going to take the belt and put it on our the front of the foot and push and pull and push the foot away, pull and resist, an isometric push and pull. Push the foot away, pull the back, foot back. So the action is all happening in the foot. You could do this and have the action, the feet pull the back or the feet pull the arms, but no, we're working with the foot, pushing the foot away, pulling the foot back and the foot is resisting. So push away, pull back, push away, pull back, push away, pull back. And notice the heels, when you pull back, the heels are sliding forward. Push away and pull back. And one more time, push away and pull back. Okay, next, we're not gonna be using the belt. but we could prepare our blanket or towel prop. Rolling it up, and putting it to the side. Okay, now we're gonna stretch the foot. So you're gonna sit, let's first sit in Virasana, Thunderbolt pose, okay? Now, for some people, you may need a block or two blocks but we're stretching the top of the foot, okay? In Chinese medicine, these are all digestive uh, acupuncture points. So we're stretching the top of the foot. And in this position, let's push down on the heel and lift up the spine. You see what happens? So here I am sinking down, you know, very relaxed. But now when I use the heel of my hand against the heel of my foot and lift the spine so that it dangles. So it's almost like dangling from the clothes hangers of my shoulder, okay? Feels really good. And let sink down and then push and lift again. So you're getting extra stretch in the front of the foot, the top of the foot, and also letting the spine dangle like a string of pearls. Okay, so now put the blocks in front and we're going to curl the toes under, okay? So now we're stretching the metatarsals. Now, you could force or encourage the toes to, instead of being together, to open up, okay? So open up the toes. And just enjoy this stretch. Now, you can increase it by coming back and forth, but you can, and you can even prop these, this feels really good, prop the blocks under your knees to get a really big stretch in the metatarsal and across the toe bed, and in the arch. and let's just go back and forth. If this is too much, you can do one foot at a time in this way, a little less pressure depending how much flexibility you have in your metatarsal, and then let's, let's all do one foot. So push the right heel back, stretching the arch of the right foot, and then point, and stretch back and point, flipping the foot, stretch back, stretch back and point. And let's do the left foot. So stretch the heel back and then point. Stretch back and point. Stretch back and point. Stretch back and point. There's uh, quite a few moves in yoga where you flip the foot like so. And, and we'll visit that a little later today. So, the first pose is Malasana, garland pose. So you're gonna put your folded blanket here, and you're gonna put your heels up on the blanket, okay? So heels are on the blanket. 
so. And I'm squatting, putting the elbows down between the knees, okay? And then pushing the knees against the elbows and again, letting the spine be long and loose like a string of pearls, lengthening the spine. Later, I'll show you how to do this on a chair. But this is Malasana Garland. So if you'd like to see that from the side, I have my heels up on the mat, pushing the knees against the elbow, lengthening the spine. Okay, next we're going to do down dog. So I'll just show you something with the mat. Okay, this is down dog. We're gonna come up into down dog. People who have wrist problems all often find putting the blanket there helps. Okay, I will demonstrate what we're going to do next. Two options, okay? So we're gonna come up into down dog. You can bend your knees if you have to to lengthen the back. And we're going to bring, point the toe in, bring the knee in, in, and then lead with the heel out. So in, point, out, heel. In, point, out, lead with the heel. The second option is in, point, out with the heel. In, point, out with the heel. So your choice. We're going to do five times each leg. Okay, so come to tabletop, whether you're doing the first version or the second, and let's inhale, exhale, come up into down dog. Here we are, we're going to do five times on each leg, inhale, bring the, t inhale, point, exhale, flex, inhale, point, exhale, flex. So inhale, point your toe, and then kick out with the heel. Point your toe, bring the knee in, out with the heel. Inhale, point, exhale, kick out with the heel. One more time, inhale, point, kick out with the heel. And we'll come down to rest for a moment in child's pose. Come back up to tabletop, curl the toes under, and come on up. Okay, so point as you bring the knee in, and flex and lead with the heel out, left leg. Inhale, point, exhale, heel out. 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 And one more time, inhale, point, exhale, heel out. And come down and rest. And we'll do another down dog with up dog coordinating the movement. I'll give you two options. So first, watch. So coming into tabletop, curling the toes, coming into down dog, and then coming into up dog. You see my heels are flexed, and then I'm going to flip my feet. And then curl and come up. So again, coming in towards plank, Flipping the toes, coming into up dog, curling the toes, coming into down dog. 
The option is here. Curl your toes, come forward, point your toes. Curl the toes, come forward, flip the toes. Okay, so whichever version you'd like to do, we'll do five of those. Okay, so down dog, coming forward, flipping the toes to up dog, curling the toes, down dog. Coming forward, flipping the toes, up dog. Curl the toes, down dog. Coming forward, flip the toes, up dog. Two more times. Curl the toes, down dog. Coming forward, flip the toes, up dog. And one more time. Curl the toes, down dog. Coming forward. Flip the toes, up dog, good. And then face forward, we'll come up and do one more pose. Okay, so come to standing. Oh, I'm off the screen. So good thing I'm doing, showing you this pose. So go into goddess pose. So goddess pose. Your feet are about 15 degrees, okay? And we're gonna go onto the metatarsal of the right foot, okay? And just bounce a little. And then drop the heel, go to the metatarsal of the left foot. Right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot. Right foot. Left foot, and then can you come up on both metatarsals and go down to the heels and up, heels and up, heels and up, heels and up. So that was the mini foot lesson, part two. And I will pull the chair over and give some instruction for chair bound. So let's get going on that. Okay, so if you're in the chair, let's just start that um, you, you can, we'll start. Okay, so just point and flex, point and flex point and flex, point and flex. And then we did five pronations and supination. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Pick up your right leg, let's make five circles. And five circles the other way. And then shake that foot. Shake it. Okay. And now lift up the right left leg. And five circles out. And five circles in. And grab your ankle and shake. And on your own, you could play with your toes and stretch them apart, move them through the range of motion. And next, let's use the belt and put, put it around your toes. And then doing an isometric, push the toes away and then pull back, moving only from the feet. Okay, the arms are going for a ride. Pushing the feet, pulling them back, letting the feet do all the work. Okay, we won't need the belt anymore. And now for Balasana, it's nice in the chair. You can put your heels up onto the leg runs, okay? And you could just do this. Or if you want, you could bend forward and push your elbows against your knees, lengthen the back. So 
up from the side. That would look like so. So you don't want to curl the back. You want to lengthen the back and have an isometric action between the knee and elbow. Lengthen the back of the neck, relax the jaw. Down dog, up dog, you could put your feet behind and push down, stretching the front of the foot. No shoes, of course. Okay. And then metatarsals. Push down with the metatarsal. You can do them one foot at a time. So it's the sliding back. So pointing and stretching and pressing down on the metatarsal with the heel up. And let's do the other foot. It feels good to do this, to really stretch the foot and then press down the metatarsal, stretch the foot, press down the metatarsal, stretch the foot, push down the metatarsal. And then, okay, we did the point, so point, and then move down to the floor with the heel. Come up and point, move down to the floor with the heel. So we'll do that five times. So up and point, down with the heel. Up and point, down with the heel. Up and point, down with the heel. Two more times, up and point, down with the heel. Point down with the heel. Okay, left leg up and point down with the heel. 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 One more time. Up and point down with the heel. And then finally. Side. Okay, lift up and goddess pose. If you want, you can work this foot like so. And then work the other foot the same way, rolling from toe to heel. That was the yoga lesson for today, the mini yoga lesson for the feet. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next video next week, Tuesday and Thursday. Have a great weekend.